The damage estimated for your property is determined to be 100%. That was in April when Jim Davenport read us a letter from the city of Omaha. The planning department told him he could not rebuild his King Lake home. And they told us we couldn't live in here. We felt like they were just beating us, adding insult to injury. After months of fighting the decision, Davenport was granted a building permit in July. But it was just such a relief to be able to we can finally start back in our home. With the help of volunteers and alone, Davenport started to rebuild. He brought his house up to electrical code, hung drywall, and moved in eight months after the flood. It's starting to look like a house again. We, we feel like we're getting our home back. You know, we're not there, but we feel better about it. You know, it's looking more like a home. The more it looked like a home, the more relieved we were. Now Davenport is doing what he can to help his neighbors get back into their homes. They have told me that it's so great to see you be able to move back into your home that it makes us feel better that ours is getting closer and we're going to be there. You know, if you can do it, we can do it. He knows the Elkhorn River could flood again, but says improvements to nearby levees will make a difference in the future. It would take another perfect storm for it to happen again. And I just have to believe in my heart that it's not going to happen again in my lifetime. And I plan on being alive for a long time. In King Lake, Nick Amatangelo, KETV News Watch 7.